गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ मैथ एफ टू फोर टू ऑपरेशन रिसर्च सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस द मॉडल थर्ड सिंगल आइटम स्टैटिक डिमांड प्रोडक्शन मॉडल विथ बैक ऑर्डरिंग एंड वी हैव ड्राइव विद द फॉलोइंग डेरिवेशन we have derived the q what is the q economic order quantity means how much we should order economically so that total cost is minimum then after total cost per unit time so these this cost we minimize and this is the optimal back order quantity that is the b star and this is the t not star that is the optimum order cycle and here we have the ss policy means when we should order and how and what is the maximum limit of the inventory system so we have in last class i have told you if this is the time horizon so here we have so this label when we should when we should order that is the b star and how much we have the maximum limit that is the s star and here we have the the time of reorder time of reorder that is the t not means after that the cycle will repeat after that cycle will repeat and it will go again like this so here we have the total things and in doing in one cycle the total cost is given by the tcu q star b star so here we have the and this we say small s so small s is equal to minus b star so the so this is the model third now here we have the effect of the lead time means if there is a lead time what 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 is the meaning of the lead time i have told you lead time is the time period right leave lead time is the time period between the uh, uh, between the time of placing order and time of the receiving the item so due to the lead time if i'm saying that lead time is of uh, l days lead time is of l days means l days required l days required for receiving the item after placing an order after placing an order so at if at, at at this point if at this point you have to order so what you have to do for getting the for getting the item for getting the item or production at this point at this point so uh, we have to order prior to the actual time prior to actual time because this time is nothing this is the l period so when you order at this point when you order at this point since the lead time is l days so you are able to receive the item at this point of time when uh, when you require at that point of time you can receive the item so it, it means at at this level at this level what is the inventory level so inventory level is this one so at that time the s star s star will become minus b star plus dl dl means at this period in the l period in the l period the this much item this much item you can utilize due to the demand right this, this much item will decrease this much item will decrease due to the demand so here we have due to the due to the lead time here we have s star is equal to minus b star plus dl where l is what a lead time here this is l is the lead time and d is the demand so that is the effect of the lead time so anything you want to ask bijendra aswin in the model third no sir no now we have the model one so as i have told you uh, we will go uh, for the derivation of the model third only 
then after the model 1 2 and 4 we will discuss as a special case so here we have the single item static demand means constant demand production model means constant delivery rate production model means constant delivery rate delivery rate constant delivery rate and with no back order with no back order so what is the difference between the model 1 and model 3 only the difference is there is no back order there is no shortage if there is no shortage if there is no shortage so here we have the positive inventory level here we have the zero so here we have the means generation of the or production of the met item and here we have the uses means here we divide the time interval only in the two period t1 and t2 in the t1 we have increment in the level of the inventory and in the time period t2 we have the decrement in the level of the inventory so there is no shortages means no shortages means it will uh, there is no negative inventory no back order so we have only this cycle so this cycle will repeat this cycle will repeat it means here what we have so what is the unit cost unit cost for the shortage you, you know that c2 is what it is the unit cost per item per item right unit cost per item per unit time per unit time per unit time so because there is no shortage there is no shortage this c2 this c2 tends to infinity so when this c2 tends to infinity because when the uh, at the time of the shortage at the time of the shortage whatever the loss you are facing right whatever the loss you are uh, uh, you are facing that loss is of infinite cost because that you cannot uh, revamp so in this case in this case what will happen so here we have the same assumptions except except no back order means in this case model third is nothing this is the model third model third plus no back order no back order so it is a special case of the model third so in this we have the constant demand constant delivery delivery must be greater than greater than the demand shortages are not allowed and we assume lead time is equal to zero and here replacement of the stock policy follow the ss policy ss policy means small s when we should when we should start the in production capital s means when we should stop the uh, production so minimum inventory level or maximum inventory level and here small s is greater than equal to 0 means no shortage allowed so small s will be the greater than equal to 0 and time horizon is infinite q is the order quantity so the inventory diagram for the model 1 will be like this so in the period t1 we have we have the increment of in the inventory increment in the inventory and in the period t2 we have the decrement in the level of the inventory so from here from here we can observe that when back order back order is not allowed then we say c2 is infinite so when we put c2 infinite in the model 3 so this is the formula which we have derived in the model 3 so here when we take in this model in this model if you take the c2 common so here we have the 2 kd c2 if you take common so it will become c1 upon c2 plus 1 upon c1 c2 1 minus d upon a this c2 and this c2 is cancel out now when we put when we put 
C2 tends to infinity. C2 tends to infinity. That will become the 1. 1 plus 0. So that will become 1. So it means it will become it will become 2kd 2kd upon c1 into 1 minus d upon a. At that time economic order quantity need not to go with the basic uh, basic deriv derivation. You can directly write from here because it is the now special case of the model 3. So directly you can write here like this. Similarly from here if you take the common from here if you take the c2 common here we have the c1 upon c2 plus 1 and this c2 and this c2 cancel out so at that time the tcu will become c not d c not d plus root of 2 k d 2 k d c1 into 1 minus d uh, d upon a right 1 upon uh, and in the denominator as we put the C2, C2 tends to infinity, this is equal to 1. So we have the root of KD C1 only. So here we have the here we have the TCU as C0 D root of the 2 KD C1 into 1 minus D upon A. Thereafter, when we have the B star, so since there is no back order, since there is no back order, so it will be the zero. It will be the zero. We will not talk about the back order. So it will become zero. And T naught star in the T naught star also here, if you take the C2 common, so it will become C1 upon C2 plus one. And this C2 is cancelled with this C2. And as we put the C2 tends to infinity, this will become 1. So it will become 2k upon d into C1 into 1 minus d upon a. So that is the optimum order cycle. So here we have the T naught as root of 2k upon d into C1 into 1 minus d upon a. That is the optimum order cycle. Similarly, uh, since back order is not allowed, so B star is equal to 0. So here S star is equal to 0. And capital S will become, uh, for the capital S also, again you take the C2 common. So when we take the C2 common, it will become the C1 upon C2 plus, plus 1. And this C2 is cancelled with this C2. And this 1 plus C1 plus C2 will become the 1. So here we have the 2KD into 1 minus D upon A upon C1. So that is our S. So in this case, this S will come 2KD into 1 minus D upon A upon C1 means here when we draw the inventory graph so this period is what it is the t naught star it is the t naught star and this level is the capital s star capital s star and this level you can reach when you give the optimum order of of size q star and total cost total cost will be total cost will be the TCU star, TCU star. So in this way, we can have the first model. Now, again, the effect of the lead time. So when we say lead time is L, when the lead time is L means when we place an order, we can receive the order after the L period after the L period. So if you want to receive, if you want to receive the production at this point, right? If you want to receive the production at this point, so you have to order, you have to order L days prior to the requirement, prior to the requirement. So in that case, the inventory will be inventory level is the DL. 
so at that time a small s star will become the minus dl right or not minus dl plus dl right so at that time s star will be the dl means in the period l in the period l our inventory should be our inventory should be dl so that in l days we can fulfill the generated demand right we can fulfill the generated demand so here we have the effect of the lead time at that time a small s star will be the d into l clear this part or any doubt aswin or bijend no sir now we have the model second model second single item hello yes sir can you explain a lead time again lead time i am saying that for example you have the business of any grocery item and you you know that after every 10 days i have to place an order this period is 10 days this period is 10 days after every 10 days we have to place an order now when you place an order you know when we uh, you place an order then it takes the two days to receive that order it takes the two days to receive the order so if you want to get or your order at this point of time so what you have to do you have to order two days be before two days prior means after the eight day after the eight day you have to order so that on the 10th day you can receive your order so up on the when you are ordering when you are ordering uh, on the eighth day so at that time what is the inventory level inventory level is this much right inventory level is this much so in these two days for example daily demand is of 20 item if daily demand is of 20 item it means in two days you require the 40 items so this level must be the 40 items so that is the small s star is equal to d into l that is the 20 into 2 that is equal to the 40 so that you can you can fulfill demand during the lead time clear okay sir thank you now model second in the model second we have the single item as we have in model 1 as well as in model 3 static demand the same as we have in model 3 and model 1 and this is the production model so here when production model with no back order so it is looking like it is looking like the model 1 model 1 it is looking like the model 1 but in this case it is given to you we have the infinite delivery rate when we have the infinite delivery rate so instead of the production model we say it is the purchase model it is it is the purchase model when we have infinite delivery rate infinite delivery rate means a is tends to infinity a tends to infinity right and demand is constant because we have no requirement a must be greater than d so already infinite greater than the some constant rate so this type of the model is also known as the purchase model so only the difference is means this is the exactly model 1 plus infinite delivery rate infinite delivery rate means as um, uh, when you require when you require immediately you are able to for example at this point you require your uh, your order so as you go in market immediately your inventory level will increase there is no constant delivery rate immediately your level will become the positive now you have to use only you have to use only as we have the zero inventory level go to market and purchase so 
when you purchase your inventory label will become right uh, positive and then only you have to use then again that cycle will repeat so in this way we have the purchase model means when we have the zero item when we have the zero inventory label immediately at that point you have to purchase and your inventory will become the s your inventory will become the s clear this part means here you have to purchase the s item you here you have to purchase the s item means in this case what will happen i will i will show you in this case q is all q is equal to the s since you have to purchase the q item and that quantity is nothing it is the whatever the maximum inventory level that is the s because at this point at this point you are not fulfilling the generated demand when we have the production model because production you are you are doing with the constant rate so in that period you are fulfilling the generated demand also so here we have the model third so model second model second is nothing it is the model 1 plus infinite delivery rate infinite delivery rate so in this case these are all the formula of the q q and q like q star t c star b star t not star s star for the model 1 so in this case when a tends to infinity when a tends to infinity this will become the d upon a will become 0 1 minus 0 is 1 so this will become the 1 it means here the q star will come 2 kd upon c1 2 kd upon c1 in this also when a tends to infinity d upon a will become 0 1 minus 0 will become 1 so uh, here in this case it will become the c not d plus root of 2 kd c1 2 kd c1 similarly b not is 0 here when we take the a tends to infinity d upon a is 0 1 minus uh, 0 is 1 so it is become 1 so here it t not star will be t not star will be the 2k upon d into c1 d into c1 here again this will become 1 so this will become root of 2kd upon c1 so here you can see s star and q star for the model third right both are uh, both are this is the q star as well as the s star from here from here you can see so both are root of 2kd upon c1 so from the figure you can understand why the s star and q star are same because at the at this point we are purchasing the s item to make our inventory label as a s so that is the whatever the quantity you are purchasing and what is the maximum label both are the same so here we have the all the derivative right all the formula on one sheet so you can note in your copy so in this case in this case what is happening here we have the cycle here we have the cycle here we have the cycle so this period is what it is the t not period this is period is what s s star as well as the q star and for one cycle we have the total cost as a t c u star clear now effect of the lead time so when we have the lead time of l days lead time of l days means you have to order the l days prior to the actual required period actual, actual point of right um, means actual point of requirement so here we require at this point we require so we have to uh, order l days before and at the l days our inventory level must be our inventory level must be the dl right this inventory must be the dl so at that time s star will become 
S star will be the when there is a, a lead time of L period. So S star is equal to the D. Clear? So this is our model second. Now we have the model four single item SMS in the model third static demand SMS in model third production model with back order with back order means back order allowed infinite delivery rate. So as I have told you when we have the infinite delivery rate instead of the production model better you write the purchase model better you write the purchase model. So purchase model that is the a tends to infinity a tends to infinity and we have the constant demand so it is nothing this is the model third model third plus a tends to infinity so in the model third what we have we have the back order we have the back order also so it is the purchase model so when we have the b label when we have the b label at that time we purchase the item we purchase the item then we use inventory zero then after since back order is allowed so it will go up to the negative label uh, negative level also so here we have the capital s and as you reach the negative level maximum allowed level at that time again you make an order of quantity q of quantity q then you utilize inventory will become zero then inventory will become negative then you purchase zero then negative and this cycle will continue so here the the period will be the t naught and in the one period total cost per unit time must be zero must be minimum must be minimum so you can you can observe from the graph that it is a special case of model third by putting a tends to infinity so so we have all these formula for the model third in this case just you put the a tends to infinity so d upon a is equal to 0 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 so this will become 1 here this will become 1 here this will become 1 here this will become 1 and here this will become 1 so you will get the q star tcu star small s star right so you will get the q star this tcu star b star t naught star small s star and capital s star like this so in the model third, just you have to put A tends to infinity. One more thing in the model second, I forgot to tell you at that point. The, these two, when these two are same, you, you have noticed that these two are same. So this is also known as the Bilson formula. This is also known as the Bilson formula. For the model second, when we have Q star equal to star so that formula is known as the bills here we have we have derived the q star tcu tcu q star b star b no. star t naught star s star and the capital s star lucky. Okay. So here we have the label at which uh, at that point we have to purchase. Then we have to use then the negative inventory. Again we have the purchasing. So again we have to utilization inventory is zero and this cycle will continue. This cycle will continue. So this period is T naught. 
this label is S star, this label is B star, or you can say a small S star at which point we have to uh, or reorder. And at this period, we have to compute the TCU. And this is the total quantity you have to purchase. Right, you have to purchase the quantity which is with which you can able to fulfill the past demand plus maximum allowable limit. So here we have the model four. In the model four, also when we have the lead time. So lead time means at this point uh, we require the purchasing at this point we require the purchasing so and we know that we know that uh, there is a lead time of l l period right so we have to place an order l l time prior to the requirement so that in the l period in the l period you are able to receive so at that time we will see what should be the level of the inventory the level of the inventory will be become at that time s star will be the minus b plus dl minus b plus dl so that is the effect of the lead time so if there is a lead time then s star will be the minus b star plus d into l so let us have some numerical example so that you can understand easily so is there any doubt in all the four model? So model one, second and fourth is the special case of the model three. So we have derived. You can drive independently also. But here there is no requirement since we have done through the special case of the model three. Now demand or uh, demand of a product is 500 unit. What is given to you? Yes, Bijan, what is given to you? demand its constant rate so it is the d 500 units per week and the delivery rate is 1000 unit per week so what is this it is also the constant so this is your a so here you can see a is greater than d if the purchase price Purchase price is rupees 50 per unit. So what is this purchase price means we denote by the C naught. The ordering cost is rupees 100. Ordering cost is rupees per 100 per order means it is independent of the quantity Q. So it is nothing. This is the capital K, the setup cost that depend on the that depend on the Q only. The holding cost is rupee one per unit per week. So this is the unit holding cost. So unit holding cost is the C1. Calculate the Q star, TCQ star, and optimum order cycle, assuming that no shortage is allowed. So now when no shortage is allowed, we can have which model? When no shortage is allowed, mm -hmm second second and first in the both we have the no shortages allowed yes yes yes, yes. model first and model second but here it is given to you production is thousand production rate is thousand it means this is the model first this is the model first means here we have the production uses production uses Sir, according to our class i have said second because we have done second first time the second time okay okay so actually the, that we call it as a, as a model one first we have drive the model third and from the model third we have yes, uh, we have drive we have modified for the model one model second and model four 
right i am following the book terminology okay okay right so now you have the formula just you have to put so you know that uh, here we have written d is equal to 500 a is equal to 1000 c not is equal to 50 k is equal to 100 c1 is equal to rupee 1 so q star is what root of 2 kd upon c1 into 1 minus d upon a so q star will come 447.2 so you can say approximately it is the 447 units and the formula of the tcu star tcu star is the c not d plus root of 2 kd c1 into 1 minus d upon a all the value you have just you put just you put you will get the 25223.60 optimum motorcycle is the q star upon d that is the 0.89 big 89 big or it is the 6.258 days so it means what is happening here we have the here we have the cycle so this period is 6.258 days this period is 6.258 days and uh, total cost will come total cost in one production run will come tcu is, we have derived as a 25223.60 and q star q star is the quantity q star is the quantity how much quantity we have to uh, we have to order that is the 447 that is the first question now and this is a 8.2 uh, to do the problem 8.1 with the modification that delivery is instantaneous so when the you have to repeat the same question right just with the assumption that this a tends to infinity with this assumption a tends to infinity so here we have the a tends to infinity so it is the model second right so here when we have the model second so it means here we have the purchase use purchase use so uh, we have the formula for the model second so for the model second we have the formula q star is equal to 2 kd upon c1 tc is equal to c not d plus root of 2 kd into c1 b star is equal to 0 t not star is equal to 2 root of 2 k upon d into c1 and similarly s star is equal to root of 2 kd upon c1 so when we put all the value of uh, uh, given parameter so here you can observe that the q star will come 316.23 and corresponding tcuo is 25316.23 and t not star is 4.4 4.427 days so it means this is the 4.427 days and this is your s star as well as the q star and this label is 316 and for the one cycle for the one cycle we have the total cost 25316.23 so in this way we can have the purchase model purchase model now um, problem 8.3 in problem 8.1 assume that shortages are allowed now in the first question we are removing the restriction of shortages now we are saying that shortages are allowed with back order at the cost of at the cost of rupees 2 per unit per week means what is given to you this rupees 2 what is this anyone what is this C two, yes, this is the C two. So C two is given to you. So for that you have to find the find the B star, Q star, T C U star, and optimum order cycle. Optimum order cycle means 
T naught star. So, which model it is? This question belongs Fourth. to which model? Fourth. Four. Model. Model third. Four four. It is. It is given now in problem eight point one. So, in the problem eight point one, we have constant delivery rate that is the thousand. So here we have the model, right? Here we have the model constant delivery rate with back order, right? Here we have the back order and constant delivery rate, then zero inventory, shortage allowed, then production, then zero inventory, back order allowed. So this is the model third. So just in the model third, you put the all the values, right? C2 is given to you as a two. So you can compute this B star as 91.29. So here you can see this level is minus 91. And here we have the T naught. T naught is 1.095. Or you can say seven point six seven two, seven point six seven two days, and total cost, total cost is two five one eight two point five seven, and the quantity, quantity is given as a five forty seven or five forty seven point seven two, or you can say five forty eight, five forty eight. So here. You can observe. We have the, we have seen the three model. So here you can see. Oh, now concentrate only on the cost. Here the cost is two five one eight two. Here the cost is. And two five. Where so where the production there is a production with a constant rate so the cost is coming as a two five two three but when you are purchasing from the market when you are purchasing from the market it is coming two five three one six so it is always said है ना कि we should we should go always with the in house uh, in house production wherever we have the in house facility always there are the cost is the lesser when whenever you go with the outsource always you have to bear the large cost that is the conclusion here then after when the shortages are allowed when the shortages are allowed at that time 25182.57 and when the shortages are not allowed It is the two five two two three point six zero. So it means always means up to a certain limit. Up to certain limit, back order is also economical. To maintain the back record, uh, to maintain the record of the back order, to maintain the back, uh, record of the back order is economical, right? But at uh, up to certain limit, the, so that optimal limit we denote it by the B star. so here you can see when the back order is allowed and we have the production then then the total cost will be the minimum clear one more thing you can notice when you are allowing the when you are allowing the back order and production at that time you can observe that t not is coming as a 7.672 but when back order is not allowed frequently you have to order frequently you have to order means the reorder point reorder point will become reorder point will be the or reorder time reorder time will be the lesser frequently you have to order frequently you have to order when when back order is not allowed right so uh, frequently you have to order when back order is allowed you can uh, you can reorder after certain period similarly when we have the production model when we have the production model 
and uh, when we have the purchase model at that time when you observe here we have the for the purchase model because here we have the involvement of the money right for the optimal cost for the optimal cost you have to purchase you have to purchase more frequently than the production model if we are doing in house production if you are doing the in house production so the period of reorder the period of reorder is greater right the period of uh, reorder is greater when you have to go purchase from the market then the period of reorder is lesser 4.427 similarly you can compare from the quantity also quantity also here we have the quantity so since um, it is a 548 it is a 316 and here we have the q star q star as a 447 so uh, when back order is not allowed you have to produce 447 items but when back order is allowed because you have to satisfy the back back demand also so you you have to produce more item that is the 548 units similarly when uh, when we have the in-house production facility you have to produce more right because simultaneously you have to satisfy the demand but when we are purchasing when we are purchasing you have to purchase lesser amount you have to purchase the lesser amount because there is the involvement of the more money means all the money you have to invest at one point of time so that is the uh, for due to that we have the optimum order quantity as 316 only so from here from these three questions you can draw many conclusion about the inventory management An automobile firm requires 1000 volt. So what is this required 1000 volt? What is this of a particular type every day? It is the demand D. Shortage cost is estimated to be rupees 2 per 100 per day. It is given to you means a little bit. You can say C2 we can drive from here unit cost. Directly it is not C2, but C2 we can drive from here. And the holding cost is rupees 1 per 100 per bolt. So it is the C1. Right? Because C1 and C2 are the unit cost for holding and shortage per unit item. But it is given to you per 100 item. Per unit item per, uh, per unit time. But it is given to you per 100 items. Per, uh, per unit time the firm can either manufacture the bolt or purchase them from the outside source so the firm has the both facility the setup cost is rupees 500 for the manufacturing so it is given to you as a k it is a setup cost independent of the quantity and rupees 50 for purchasing so when you are manufacturing then the setup cost is higher always when you are going when you have to purchase then it is the lesser so both are the k the unit cost per 100 volts is rupees 20 so it is the c naught if purchase and rupees 10 c naught if the manufacturer while manufacturing rate is 6000 rate is 6000 that is the constant delivery rate so it is given to you a 6000 volts per day the delivery is instantaneous if the firm purchase from the from the source that is the a tends to infinity what should be the policy of the firm to manufacture or to purchase so first of all we have to recognize we have the two model d is constant this is the c2 so c2 will be the 0 0.02 per bolt per day because it is given to you rupees 2 per 100 volts per day 
so c2 will become per item per item per day per unit time so it is the 0.02 similarly c1 is given to you rupee 1 per 100 volts so it will be the 0.01 per volt per day now uh, we have to decide whether we should go for the purchase or for the manufacture so that the tcu is minimum so we have to go with the minimum tcu so here you can uh, if we do the manufacturing so for the manufacturing setup cost is given to you as a 500 c not we have seen it is the rupees 10 per 100 volt so c not will come c not will come 0 0.1 per volt 0 0.1 per volt and delivery is the uh, delivery is 600 uh, 6000 volts per day so when shortage are allowed when shortage are allowed it means we are talking for the model third we are talking for the model third so for the model third q star is root of the 2 kd into c1 plus c2 upon c1 c2 into 1 minus d upon a so q star will come here it is the uh, 13416 and optimum order cycle is q star upon d so it is the 13.4 days and tcu tcu will come 174.54 but when we purchase when we purchase this will become the model 4 this will become the model 4 so when the, we have the model 4 at that time the tcu tcu will come the 225 225 so you can notice that 174.54 is lesser than the 225.82 so always better to manufacture always better to manufacture because in manufacturing we have the lesser cost so it is always true in-house facility is always beneficial or economical so that's all for today in next class we will continue with the advance of this these four models Thank you, sir.